Big West titles, coaching changes, and historic NCAA tournament appearances. It was a year to remember for the Mustangs. I'm Andrew Masuda with your KSBY Cal Poly Sports Minute. The Mustangs made two major coaching changes in 2009. First on January 9th, Tim Walsh became the 16th head coach of Cal Poly football, taking over the reins from Rich Ellerson, who went to Army. Walsh was Army's offensive coordinator for two years prior to Cal Poly. He spent 14 years as the head coach at Portland State. Under Walsh, Cal Poly football finished 4-7 and seven for its first losing season in seven years. The Mustangs played two FBS teams in 2009, including Ohio University and then San Jose State. They also led several games at halftime, only to lose like against the Spartans and at Montana and South Dakota State. Some of the most memorable games were Dominic Johnson's program record five touchdown catches over South Dakota. His 13 catches for 273 yards in the loss were third most in program history. Two of the most thrilling wins came at home. First, Carlton Gillespie recovered a fumble in the end zone off a Marty Mohammed sack, lifting Cal Poly to a 21-14 win over South Dakota State. Two weeks later, the Mustangs won their Great West opener 24-23 after Southern Utah missed an extra point with just nine seconds to play. In March, Cal Poly fired men's basketball head coach Kevin Bromley after a 7-21 season. He started at Cal Poly in 1995 as an assistant and took over head coaching duties in 2000. Less than three weeks after his dismissal, Joe Calera was introduced as the Mustangs' new head coach. He spent eight years rebuilding the Seattle University program. After an 0-5 start this year, Calera and the Mustangs have won three of their last five games. The Cal Poly women's basketball team enjoyed its finest season in 08-09. The women matched a program best with 21 victories. They also advanced to their first ever Big West Conference Tournament title game. Despite losing stars Megan Harrison and Lisa McBride to graduation, the Lady Mustangs are out and running in the 09-2010 campaign. Faith Mimna's ladies enter the final week of the calendar year 6-4, and, and junior Christina Santiago leads the Big West, averaging 18 points per game. Two Cal Poly squads made history on the diamond in 09. Larry Lee's baseball team received a bid to the program's first ever NCAA regional. The Mustangs finished third in the Big West during the regular season. They won 37 games, one shy of the school's Division I record. They were also nationally ranked for 13 straight weeks, reaching as high as number 12. Cal Poly did lose stars like Adam Buscini and Kyle Smith, though, to the draft, but looked to build on 09 in 2010. Under Jenny Condon, Cal Poly softball won its second ever Big West title. They won a program best 41 games and scored their first national ranking in 12 years. The women also won the program's first two NCAA regional tournament games, falling in the Palo Alto Regional Championship to Stanford. Anna Kahn set a program record with 28 wins and was named the Big West Pitcher of the Year. Condon won her third Coach of the Year honor. In 2009, the women's soccer team claimed the program's sixth Big West title. The Lady Mustangs ultimately lost in penalty kicks to rival UCSB in the conference tournament title match. Goalkeeper Coral Hoover recorded a school record seven straight shutouts during the season, finishing with 11 overall. She was named the conference's goalkeeper of the year. The ladies finished 14-5-1 under longtime head coach Alex Crozier. Paul Holliher's men finished second in the Big West for the second straight season. The Mustangs won a program best six conference games on their way to hosting the program's first conference tournament match that ended in a 2-1 loss to UC Irvine. Now, some of the highlights of the season were two hat tricks within two weeks. First by transfer Junior Burgess against Fullerton, followed up by a three-goal effort by David Zamora just 10 days later against Northridge. The game in Spanos against the Gauchos drew 9,800 fans. The scoreless tie drew the nation's second largest crowd of the year and seventh largest all time. The men's cross country team captured its seventh straight Big West Conference Championship in 10th overall. Joe Gattel was named the Big West top runner while Mark Conover was the coach of the year. Gattel went on to finish 110th as Cal Poly's lone representative at the national championships. The Mustangs lost one of their greatest athletes in school history in February when Mel Kaufman passed away just shy of his 51st birthday. A linebacker in the Mustangs national championship team in 1980, he played eight years in the NFL winning two Super Bowls with the Washington Redskins. He died after serving his first year as Cal Poly's linebacker coach. Kaufman was inducted to Cal Poly's Athletics Hall of Fame in 1993. Cal Poly's swimming and diving program made a splash in September. The Anderson Aquatic Center opened. The $3 million project replaced the existing 25-yard pool built in the late 1960s with a new state-of-the-art 50-meter competition pool. 
And thanks to a $600,000 donation by Cal Poly Hall of Famer Al Moriarty and his wife Patty, a new video board and scoreboard debuted at Spano Stadium in late August. It stands 52 feet wide and 36 feet tall, more than double the size of the previous scoreboard. And with the final KSBY Cal Poly Sports Minute of 2009, I'm Andrew Masuda.